Have you ever drunk a coffee before exercise or energy drinks pre-workout? If you have, did you feel any different comparing to exercising without drinking any of those beforehand? I asked the question because I have done it, and sometimes I find myself perform better in exercise after drinking a cup of coffee. And I'm doing this digital research project to figure out what this is and why. Even though coffee is wonderful, but it's not coffee itself. It's caffeine. So what does caffeine do? It is one of the best tested ergogenic aids, which are the substances that enhance an individual's energy use, production, or recovery. And caffeine is also known to help improving sport performance in many certain ways. I've read some research articles about the impact of caffeine to athletic performance. The first article I found was about the effects of caffeine on neuromuscular fatigue and performance during high-intensity cycling exercise. The result of the study shows that caffeine can effectively improve time to exhaustion during exercise. The positive effect of caffeine on high-intensity cycling exercise performance. In moderate hypoxia, seems to be mediated by the caffeine-induced reduction in perception of effort and improved mood, rather than reduced neuromuscular fatigue. An other article I found was about the effects of caffeine on stimulated high-intensity team sport performance. The researchers tested 11 high-level amateur rugby players with different kinds of sprinting tasks. The result of the research indicates that. The rugby players finished the sprints with better records after taking moderate doses of caffeine. Caffeine also protects against fatigue during sprints. The reason is, caffeine can block adenosine receptors, which can stop us from getting drowsy. As a result, caffeine increases level of attention or arousal. This kind of effect can be beneficial to sports require. Skills like passing balls, hitting balls, or shooting goals with accuracy. The third article I read suggested that lower doses of caffeine can be as effective as high doses during exercise performance without any negative coincidence. After a period of cessation, restarting caffeine intake at a low amount before performance can provide the same ergogenic effect. As acute intake, and this graph briefly tells us how caffeine affects sports performance in so many different ways. For instance, caffeine influences our central nervous system, improving our mood and reducing the feeling of pain and fatigue. It stimulates the secretion of happy hormone, endorphins. It increases the heart rate and blood pressure, causing more blood pumped to the skeletal muscles. Facilitating the performance of the exercise. This review article, the International Society of Sports Nutrition Position Stand, caffeine and performance is basically a very general summary of how caffeine influences athletic performance. According to the article, caffeine can enhance performance when consumed 15 to 60 minutes before the exercise. And it is effective to enhance athletic performance when it is consumed in low to moderate doses. By low to moderate, it means three to six milligram per kilogram of body weight. Caffeine also acts to enhance alertness and vigilance, which help you to stay highly concentrated during exhaustive exercise. As I mentioned before, it has something to do with. Blocking the adenosine receptors, inhibiting the loss of focus due to the tiredness. For example, a soccer player will have better passing accuracy and control, even though each game is like 90 minutes long. Caffeine is beneficial for prolonged high-intensity sports like soccer, basketball, hockey, and many other sports. Yet. The enhancement can be variable due to the fitness level of the athletes. Caffeine is considered as a very effective ergogenic aid for sustained maximal endurance activity and time trial performance. And 
you can enhance the glycogen resynthesis during the recovery phase, which means that caffeine doesn't only help during the exercise, also helps after the exercise. When blood caffeine concentration increases, dopamine and endorphin levels increase as well, which can make you feel happier during the exercise. However, at the end of this article, it says that the benefits for strength and power activities are still unknown. There are not enough research studies giving enough evidence to show the correlation between caffeine and strength or power exercise. Just a little reminder, in NCAA, caffeine is still a banned substance. If the caffeine concentration exceeds 15 micrograms per milliliter in the urine sample, kind of like 6 to 8 cups of coffee, it will be considered as a positive drug test.